Hello children. Today we will begin with practice set 11 of HCF and LCM. The sum reads factorize into primes. Now in the previous video you have already seen what are prime numbers and what are composite numbers. Okay so uh, we are going to use that knowledge in uh, this exercise as well. So the first sum is 32 so we are going to factorize it into primes. So I will write here 32. Now 32 is an even number. So it will definitely go in 2 times table and 2 is also a prime number. So we will begin the factorization with the number 2. So I will write here 2. 2 1s are 2. Now the number here is 3. We cannot take the number 3 because 3 is not divisible in 2 times table. So we are writing 2, 1s are 2. What remains? 1. So carry 1. This becomes 12. So 2, 6 are 12. Okay. Again we got another number that is 16. 16 is divisible by 2 again. So we will write 2, 8s are 16. 8 is also even number. So 2, 4s are 2, 2s are and 2, 1s are. We are supposed to follow this step until and unless we get the number 1 here. Okay. Now we have finished factorizing. What we have to do is draw a line like this. And draw lines like this. My final answer will be 32 is equal to how many times 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So I am going to write 2 into 2 into 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times we got this. So, these are the prime factors of 32. Let's move to the next sum. The next sum says 57. Now, 57 is not a prime number uh, and it is a composite number. It is not even even number so we cannot begin 57 with 2. So the next even a prime number, uh, next prime number we'll move to. The next prime number is three. So we have to see whether this is divisible by three or not. So five plus uh, seven is twelve. Twelve is divisible by three. Therefore, this entire number is divisible by three. You have already studied test of divisibility in earlier classes. So you have to go and revise that as well. So we'll begin with three. 3, 1s are 3, carry 2, 2 is remaining, this becomes 27, so 3, 9s are 27. Now 19, we got a new number 19, 19 is a prime number, so we will write 19, 1s are 19. Therefore, my answer is going to be 57 is equal to 3 into 19. Okay. So, 3 and 19 both are prime numbers. Moving forward to sum number 3. So, sum number 3 says 23. Uh, if you remember the list that I had showed you in the pri uh, previous uh, video, uh, you will see that 23 is a prime number. So, it is not divisible by any other number other than 1 and itself. So, we will write here straight away. 23, Banza, 23. Take a pencil. And we will write here. Answer 
23 is equal to you can either write 23 or just to add up a step you can write 23 into 1 anything is correct let's move to so sum number 4 is 150 so I will write 150 now 150 is divisible by uh, the number 2 also uh, because it is even number also it is divisible by 3 so uh, for a shortcut we will just begin with uh, 5 because uh, it will be very quick so we will begin with 5 we can begin with 2 we can begin with 3 no problem so 5 3 is a 15 5 zero za 0 don't forget to put this 0 down ok so again we got 30 30 is divisible by 3 it's divisible by 5 it's also divisible by 2 so I will begin with uh, 5 itself 5 6 za now 6 is even number again so we can uh, begin with 2 or we can begin with 3 no problem so we can we'll begin with 3 for a change so 3 2 za and 2 1 za so these are the factors of 150 You will write the answer. Two times five, three and two. So we'll write five into five into three into two. Okay. Let's move to the next sum. So the next sum is two hundred and 16 a prime number or uh, sorry even number so we will begin with the number 2 so we'll write your 2 2 ones are 2 now 1 this number 1 is uh, less than the number 2 itself less than the divisor so we'll put a 0 here and get this one involved with the 6 so this becomes 16 and we put a 0 in between so 2 8s are 16 again this is even number 2 5s are 10 and 2 4s are 8 54 even number let's begin with 2 2 2s are 4 this was 5 so this gets 1 gets carried here this becomes 14, 2, 7s are 14. Now 27 does not get uh, uh, divided by 2. We have to get it uh, divided by 3. So 3, 9s are, 3, 3s are and 3, 1s are. We got the number 1 so we will stop here. So, my answer is going to be 216 is equal to 1, 2, 3 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 3 times 3. So, we will write 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Moving forward to sum number Six that is two hundred and eight. Two hundred and eight. Even number. So we'll begin with two. Two. Ones are two. This is zero. So two zeros are zero. Two. Fours are eight. 
टू फाइव ज़ार टेन टू टू ज़ार फोर फिफ्टी टू इवन नंबर टू टू ज़ा फोर कैरी वन टू सिक्स ज़ा ट्वेल्व अगेन इवन नंबर सो टू वन ज़ा टू एंड टू थ्री ज़ा सिक्स नाउ वी केम अप टू थर्टीन थर्टीन इज़ अ प्राइम नंबर सो वी विल राइट थर्टीन वन ज़ा थर्टीन I'll write my answer. Two hundred and eight is equal to one, two, three, four. Four times two, two into two into two into two into thirteen. So this is my answer. Moving forward to sum number seven. Sum number seven says seven hundred and sixty-five. So we'll write here. Seven hundred and sixty-five. Now seven hundred and sixty-five ends with five, so it will be divisible by five. Five is a prime number, so we'll begin with five. Five ones are five. Carry two. Five fives are twenty-five. Carry one. Five threes are fifteen. Now one fifty three, one fifty three will be divisible by uh, three times table. How to find out three plus or uh, five eight eight plus one nine? So nine is divisible by three. Therefore, this entire number will be divisible by three. Okay, so we'll go with three. Three fives are fifteen. Three ones are three. Now fifty one is again divisible by three times table because five plus one is six and six is divisible by three. Therefore, this number is also divisible by three. So we'll write three ones are three, carry two, three sevens are twenty one. Okay. Now seventeen is a prime number, so we'll def uh directly write seventeen ones are seventeen. I will write the answer. Seven sixty-five is equal to five into three into three into seventeen. Let's move to the next sum. The next sum is. Three forty-two. Now three forty-two is even number. So we'll begin with the number two. So we'll write here two ones are two. Carry one two sevens are fourteen and two ones are two. Now one hundred and seventy one will be divisible by three because seven plus one plus one is nine, and nine is divisible by three. So this will also be divisible by three. So we will write three fives are fifteen. Carry two three sevens are twenty one. Fifty seven is also divisible by three. So we will go with three ones are three. Carry two three. Nines are twenty-seven. Now nineteen is a prime number, so we will write nineteen. One's a nineteen. My answer will be. Three hundred and forty-two is equal to two into three 
into 3 into 19. Let's move to the next sum. So, the next sum is 377. So, I'll write here 370. According to the test of divisibility, 377 is not divisible by uh, any of the prime numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, also 11. It is not divisible by any of these uh, numbers. But it will be divisible by uh, 13. 13 is a prime number. So, we'll check uh, how. Uh, first, we'll do it in the rough column to get a better uh, result. So, I'll write here 377 divided by 13. 13, 2 is 26. When I subtract, I get the answer 117. 13 nines are 117. So 13 into 29 is my um, answer for this. So I'll begin with 13 here. I will write I will write 13 29. Now 29 is a prime number so we will write here 29 ones are it will take a little time for you boys to get used to this test of divisibility you have to go back and uh, recheck your test of divisibility so that it becomes easier for you to understand this so my answer is going to be 3 77 is equal to 13 into 29. Let's move to the next and the last number that is 559. Now 559 again will not be divisible by any of the prime numbers like 2, 3, uh, 5, 7, 11, it will again be divisible by 13. So, uh, we will again divide it in the rough column and check. So, in the rough column, I will write 5, 5, 9 and I, so I write 13 here, 13, 4 is 52 subtract and get 39 3 is 39 so it's perfectly divisible by 13 so I'll write here 13 43 is 559 43 is a prime number so we'll write here 43 ones are 43 So, my final answer is going to be 559 is equal to 13 into 43. So, uh, this was uh, practice set 11. Now, I would want you to uh, note down these sums and write it in your notebooks.